For more on these headlines, uh, we have Uchenna Minis, who is a managing partner at Howard Asset Management to discuss. Uchenna, good morning. Let's start with the Biden visit to Saudi Arabia. Uh, well, what, what do you think he can accomplish? I mean, I think the optics is good. Um, I think last time we spoke, um, I mentioned that um, Saudi Arabia would only give a theoretical nod. When it comes to the practical implementation of that, that that's actually not going to be a case. We, we, because uh, by proxy, um, if Saudi Arabia agreeing to go um, head to head against Russia, they are not going to want to risk that. And, and I think that that's going to be a very, very critical point. Yes, they can say all the nice things they, can, they would want to say to themselves, given the fact that they are military allies and say um, uh, manufacturing allies too, if we want to put it that way. But generally speaking, when it comes to oil um, supply and market sharing, I think Saudi Arabia knows um, who they need to um, back their post to. Oil prices, we've seen them falling, falling below uh, $100 a barrel. Do you think these levels uh, can be uh, maintained? Honestly speaking, um, I, know, I know a lot of people are thinking that we're in a place where maybe oil prices will continue to trade lower. But when it comes to asset prices and how they actually trade, there's all Things just don't go you know, mm -hmm. side. There's where people take their profit. Then at the lower prices, um, you get some um, newer re-entry level that are sort of uh, palatable. So what I think, what I think we're seeing right now, um, again, too early to say if this is going to be a sustainable play, is just a correction. What we're seeing, technical correction, people taking profit at that level. However, when it comes to the fundamentals of it, there's still a supply constraint and there's still an increase in demand. I'm sure we talked about um, the OPEC report going into 2023. There's still going to be increase in demand, going to the fact that we're going to pre-COVID levels in terms of business and economic activities. And on that basis, um, the demand and supply does not say that this is a down downplay. However, however, Rotus, um, if we continue to see recessionary risk continue to materialize, then we see the dollar trade significantly higher. Then I think at that point, we now really need to reassess the long-term play as to what the oil market would say. So are we going to trade with uh, uh, a stronger oil, um, USD or we'll have to deal with um, the supply demand shock that um, will push prices higher? All right, well, what, what do you make of the uh, China GDP figures? Is a, is a global recession on, on the cards based on those numbers? Yeah, I mean, it's quite evident. I know mean, we were already seeing very uh, indicative metrics pointing to the fact that we're, we're near in a recession. And, and those GDP numbers, yeah, albeit uh, quite, uh, I can say they're quite obscured given the fact that China has a zero COVID policy by the administration. So um, that has sort of affected their numbers. But however, it still does not take the fact that um, there's a possibility that um, we, we are already seeing uh, uh, um, recessionary risk trying to starting to precipitate. And, 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 and those numbers are just giving some sort of indication. Mining company Rio Tinto warning about economic headwinds. I mean, you know, say, is it the same story as oil in terms of the commodity struggle for now? Yeah, I mean, uh, if it's, everybody is saying the same thing, but from their own perspective. I know um, last time we saw uh, a Meta, uh, which like a parent company for Facebook, also highlighting the fact that they will need to cut down. Um, now we're seeing a, a mining company highlighting also saying that, well, given the fact that um, what they are seeing in terms of the headwind risk, um, there, there's a possibility that that recessionary risk is starting to materialize. So, yes, um, I think um, it's quite, it's also a, Key indicator, given the fact that um, China, the dependency on on, on mining and and this uh, uh, um, products really uh, uh, are kind of key in terms of industrialization of the global economy, really. So that that's a key indicator, and that metric really would give um, a sounding warning as to what we're expecting to see in the near future. So, okay, let's talk tech. Stripe, uh, U.S. tech firm, Silicon Valley company, revising, you know, downward its own uh, valuation. Uh, what do you make of the struggles of uh, U.S. tech firms right now? I mean, it's just, I mean, people, as I said, everybody is just showing, saying the same thing with, from their own perspective. Um, 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 Stripe trying to revise or revising its valuation is just, I think, trying to control the risk, um, highlighting the fact that they're they already seeing what is coming in front, and they're also looking at the micro fundamentals, saying, well, we should not be where we're currently trading, and it's okay, we, we sort of help ourselves um, 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 
come to parity. You know, I think it's a smart decision, really. Um, the shareholders might not like it or, or the investor, investors might not like it. But yes, I think um, we have always been in a market of significant revaluation across uh, 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 asset classes and also um, corporations. And the tech industry are, are a key benef beneficiary to, to um, um, uh, easy money, um, as I would put it. And speaking of tech, U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer pushing a bill to boost U.S. Uh, chip production. Can the U.S. catch up with Asia in this, in this, in this market? You know, they're lagging behind, but they're lagging behind, significantly lagging behind. And, and the truth of the matter is it would take a couple of years to get to the point where Asia is when it comes to uh, production in that capacity, when it comes to semiconductors and whatnot. However, um, they need to do something. And, and uh, you know, a lot of people don't say this, but the truth of the matter is um, this was the same risk uh, Donald Trump was sort of highlighting during his tenure of saying that uh, in terms of manufacturing capacity of Asia, they've gone so far ahead that he had to, he had to really start up a, a sort of war, not a sort of, it actually started that war to, to, to um, slow down that, that growth. And I think um, the, uh, the uh, American lawmakers understand that uh, uh, they are really significantly lagging behind when it comes to the Chinese counterparts and the Asian counterparts when it, uh, as regards to this um, production. Uh, what do you make of Saudi Arabia taking a stake in uh, Aston Martin? I mean, it is is clear what this is. Um, um, what is like you also mentioned it, right? The Western allies would would not look to take money from the Chinese. So where's the next place they could get their a billion dollar investment without any um, serious scrutiny and whatnot? It has to be um, 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 the Middle East, Saudi Arabia. You know, so for me, it's just more. Of we prefer this. Um, um, particular part of uh, type of investor compared to um, our, should I say, uh, um, enemy really when it comes to the Chinese trying to take over everything. So it's just optics. Uh, the Chinese were, were, have been on the deal for a minute and then they, 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 they were not okay with going ahead with this. So with the Saudi Arabia coming on board, I think they'd rather just do business with Saudi Arabia. Western allies have sort of just still, there is like an un, unspoken un, un agreement amongst them, you know, leave China alone and let, let's just deal with other guys that can afford to invest into our businesses. Uchenna, Minis, Managing Partner, Howard Minis, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Really appreciate your, your time on the Global Business Report.